Well, hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over how to bake down textures from one mesh to another. Uh, and we're going to be doing that by creating a soccer ball. So the first thing that we do is we open up Blender, obviously, and we just go ahead and delete our camera and light. And then we'll grab our cube and head over to the modifiers tab and go add modifier and subdivision surface. And I want to add three subdivisions. That should be enough. Click apply. Next, we're going to go to modifier again and choose cast and make sure the cast type is set to sphere and apply. Now, the reason that we're doing this is because we're going to create a soccer ball esque texture to go on this mesh, and it would be very difficult or basically impossible to create that with this type of a sphere where there's no poles it's not like a uv sphere and so i'm just going to set this to shade smooth so anyway uh, with that set we're going to select cube double click on that and change that name to soccer ball okay and then i'll just turn the visibility off next i'm going to hit shift a and add in an icosphere and then here uh, in the subdivisions I'm going to change that to one subdivision. Now I can tab into edit mode and hit control B for bevel and just pull that bevel out a little bit. I'll tick on vertex only and the amount I'm going to change that to 0.4 and that seemed to, to do the best for, for me. Next, I'm going to hit A for all and then hit control B again. And I'm going to go ahead and add, I want there to be seams because there's gonna be pieces of this, of this mesh that are gonna be black and then the other pieces are gonna be white. And uh, now I'm gonna hit, uh, go to face mode and alt E and then extrude faces along normals. And I just want to extrude that out. Um, yes, yeah, that seems about right. Okay, next, uh, let's go ahead and grab all of the pentagonal faces. So on the top and then we can come down here and grab these faces and then come down here and grab these faces and then come down here. Okay. Now I'll come over to my materials tab, add in a new material, call that material black and then change the base color to black and click assign and then add in one more material um, and call that one white and then hit control I and assign so now if I go here to my look dev I've got the uh, got that kind of soccer ball texture okay uh, and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead tab back into edit mode and we're gonna select black and then uh, deselect everything and then click select. So we've selected those faces and then we can hit control B and we want to bevel each of those faces. I'm going to change the amount to 0.25. Uh, oh, sorry, 0 0.025 and then add in three segments. Okay. And then we're going to grab all of the white faces okay and we're going to do the same thing control b pull out that bevel 0 0.025 great okay uh, now let's go ahead and scale this up. So S and 5, we'll just scale it up to 5. 
And then we can turn on the visibility of our soccer ball. That's now inside. We have to make sure that this mesh outside, uh, the, the mesh that we want to bake the texture to is inside the mesh that has the texture. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to select my icosphere and go to object and shade smooth. Okay, so now I'll turn on wireframe mode and let's real quick set up one more one more shader. So I want to select my ball here and with this material I'm going to call this soccer ball material. And I'm just going to hit shift A search and I want to add in an image texture. Now I can come over here to the texture tab and hit new and add in a new texture and I'll call this one soccer ball texture. And 1024 is fine. You can make that larger if you want. And then I want to make sure that in this, um, in my my image texture node, I have the node selected and I have soccer ball selected. Okay, so now this is very important. This node is selected in my my node editor and it, it's for my soccer ball mesh. I'm going to select the icosphere and then I'm going to shift select my mesh that I want to bake to. And now I can come here to the change change the render engine to cycles and come here to the render engine settings and uh, we just want to bake the diffuse here and then we just want to bake the color so um, turn off direct and indirect and then we'll just go ahead and oh and then we also want to say set selected to active and the ray distance I believe we want to set that to uh, something like 10 should be okay so now we can change our outliner to our image editor and we can go ahead and open up our soccer ball image oh and one other thing we need to make sure is that our cube has UVs so we can Go here to UV editor. Yep, we have UVs. Okay, so select my outside icosphere, select my inside cube, come down here and click bake. Okay, there you go. So now you can see that this looks really strange. However, if I go ahead and add this to my to my mesh we have a perfectly baked soccer ball texture um, it's you can see there's kind of some some aliasing that's going on if you want that to go away just up the resolution but let's go ahead and do one more bake so I'm just gonna duplicate this shift D duplicate it and I'm going to add one more texture. Come down here and add a new texture. I'm going to call this AO. OK. Same thing. And I'm going to select AO because we want ambient occlusion. And then I'm going to just go ahead and select the ambient occlusion. I've got this selected, I have my outside, then my inside selected, and I'm going to click Bake. And you can see that we have a nice ambient occlusion here. And this works great if I add in a bump. That's why we added in those bevels there at the beginning. So it needs to go down to the height and then up into the normal. Okay, hide that with H. 
and now we have this and we can just invert that so that it goes inside and then take that strength down anyway that's how you bake a texture from a model and that can be really useful if you don't know how to texture what you're trying to texture then see if you can model the texture and then bake it to the mesh you're trying to to bake to so i hope this has been helpful and please uh, like comment or subscribe and i will see you guys next time